everyone this is week five my name is Maisha so we're gonna talk about artists um my artist that I chose her name is um Ali Goldflake what drew me to her um I really didn't have much of a choice left when I chose my artist there was only three three other artists left but what made me choose her is because I uh, went onto her website and I looked at her at the photos of the kind of work that she does and it looked really interesting so <clears throat> I was really interested in learning how she uh, like how she created um, like how she created her stuff on Second Life well on how she created her things on virtual worlds that was that's what really caught my attention so I really wanted to know how she like how she went about creating those things so that's what drew me to her um she's she's a um the type of artist she does she's a virtual slash digital artist she does a lot of digital drawings that she's been doing since 1997 and um she she transfers her digital drawings onto uh the virtual worlds like second life or in worlds and um a lot of her work is like i've noticed a lot of her work is really dark i'm not really sure why she does a lot of dark work like uh i'm not sure why she does a lot of dark work but it is dark but then a lot of her a lot of her work is uh inspired by her real life experiences um like for example she has um she has one she has one piece of a house in Maine and this house is uh, somewhere that she went every summer um, so that really had that was really a big inspiration on <clears throat> a lot of her work and um, my studio visit with her um, it was real fun I, I had a lot of fun getting to um, being able to look at her different um, pieces of work uh yeah they were really they were really different and some of them were like i was i'm really like i'm sorry i'm really like i don't <sighs> a lot of her work is like i said before is really dark inspired i'm not sure i don't think she's like a sad depressed woman but uh a lot of her work is really dark uh, she's a really she's really cool. I learned from from her. I learned she's she's a very talkative person. She loves to talk a lot, and I got a lot of information from uh, from her from that from her talking so much. And she seems like a really cool lady. She, she's really fun to to be around, or as I should say, for my for our avatars to hang out and be around. Um, so what I learned about art. Um, I really didn't really learn anything new about art. I mean, I pretty pretty much still think the same of art. Art can be expressed in many different ways. And, um, well, I pretty much found out that art can be expressed through virtual, uh, virtual worlds, virtual creations, 3D art, as you can say. Um... <clears throat> And what I learned about myself is that I appreciate virtual art a lot more. At first, I didn't really care for it, but now that I took a tour of Ali's um, gallery, art gallery, it really took a toll on me because one of her one of her pieces of work called Aquarella really like touched me. I was really interested in that piece, and um, Aquarella is actually one of the pieces that I discussed with her to do for our um, um, VR installation project so we're gonna do like a mock version of hers but our own version um, <clears throat> so yeah I um, think that's it for this one so I'll catch you later